Good evening, brothers, and welcome once again to another edition from your man, the Rooster. Today we're going to uh, do the final step that you have to do if you have a tractor that continues to overheat no matter what you try. Um, initially, you always want to start with the basic, simple things like uh, you want to make sure your thermostats are good. Go ahead and swap them out, put some new thermostats in there. They're usually about 15 bucks a piece, depending on your tractor. Some of them may take one, some take two thermostats, but you would start there. Um, then if, if, you can, if you're still having uh, overheating issues, I would say look at your radiator. Look and see if you have any debris on the front of your radiator or any damage to your radio or, or any coolant leaks. You know, if, you, if you're leaking coolant, then for sure you're going to... Um, overheat so that that would actually be the first step make sure you have enough cooling inside the truck but if you do that then and your radiator looks decent um, then you want to um, then move towards your water pump go ahead and swap out the water pump sometimes the pump um, you know may have bad bearings in there or just you know it may, it may not be functioning properly so check out the pump make sure your water pump is working if you've done all that and you still are having overheating issues, then more than likely what's what it's going to be is your um, your head gasket. One of your head gaskets has has blown, meaning that you had the pressure from your engine is somehow getting inside of your water supply, and that's what's causing you to overheat. And if that's the case, you will notice some white smoke, you know, coming out of your um, the exhaust of your from the bottom of the tractor on the front, uh, also there'll be a lot of pressure, more than usual, in your um, overfill. So, I've done most of the work already, but I'm starting in the back of the truck here to just point out the first thing you want to do whenever you do any kind of maintenance is go ahead and look in your battery section, disconnect your hot lead from your batteries. Okay, this goes to all the points in the tractor that need juice, and it connects right here. Just go ahead and disconnect that. That way, anything you're doing under the hood, you're not going to cause any shorts because you already disconnected your batteries from every hot lead that can that's under the truck that you may or may not know about. <clears throat> All right, like I said, I've done most of the work already. But the first thing you want to do is um, let me get up here. All right, first thing you want to do is you have to you have to tear everything down. This is a um, a Mercedes um, MB4000 engine turbo. As you see, it's got six cylinders. Okay. Um, to get to the point that I'm at now, it maybe took about three hours to break down everything, take everything off this truck. Um, the exhaust system had to come out. The turbo had to come out. Um, my water pump had to be disconnected. I mean, it was. A lot of time doing this but it's well worth it because if you if you pay someone to do it just for the labor alone they're gonna hit you with about a bill about 2,500 maybe 3,000 just for the labor okay so it takes some time but it's well worth it now <clears throat> once you finally get everything opened up okay this is one of the gaskets you can see how bad a shape it's in it's rusty it's got um you can see it's been under a lot of heat when you look at the used or the bad um, gasket compared to the new ones I've got up here, it's a clear difference. Not only that this is shiny and new looking, but if you look closely, each one of these little holes in here has a um, has a gasket here, 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 here. They all have gas bulbs that should be airtight because that sits. I've already cleaned this out. It doesn't look like it, but I cleaned this out. So I'm not going to set this all the way in here. But just so you can get a, an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, okay. Just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. This one's on here like this. And the pressure that's generated inside this chamber it it has to be contained you know 
all these are valves that's going to come up to your um, your head. Okay, this tractor has six heads. I got two of them sitting up here. I'm going to put one in right here where you can see it. But all the pressure in your head, each little valve in here, has to be contained and has to be airtight. So because this has gotten old and these various um, gaskets have worn away, that pressure was escaping the chamber and getting into your water supply. The water cools the engine. Okay, so that's what caused the overheat. So I'm just going to show you real quickly. You know, just take the new gasket. Let me let me set you down here. Hold on. Set you down. You stay right there. Hopefully. All right. Now, I'm just gonna take this gasket, put it in place, and I'm gonna start towards the back. I'm just gonna do this one in the front so you can see it. The ones in the back will be a little more difficult. And when you take the head, these things are heavy, they weigh about 80 pounds. Okay. And the important thing, you don't want to slide it in place, you want to set it, place it in place. So you gotta move it a couple times because of the weight to get it where you want it. There we are. Alright. All right, so that's how it's gonna look. So after this, you're pretty much just gonna button everything up. See, you got a connection here for fuel. Um, once I get all this back in place, there's several there's oil connections all along here, all through here. But this is the basic thing I wanted to point out. When you pull the old stuff out, take the time, and again, doesn't look like it, but I spent a lot of time cleaning this. You know, get you a. Um, uh, even a, a blade would do. Just scrape off all the debris that's left over from this old gasket. Scrape it off as best you can. Wipe it down. And um, I would even say get you a, a vac. I've already done this, but it's worth mentioning again because you can't have any leaks. Suck up in there. Any debris along the edges. And then you're ready to put your new head, your new head gasket in place. Alright boys. Um I'm not sure how many of you guys own tractor trailers, but um those of you that do, I've been doing this for a while. I'd be more than happy to go over any questions you might have. Um begin to be an expert at this. I said, if you're going to buy your tractor, I would say go ahead and um, take you about two or three introductory diesel uh, mechanics classes because you're going to need it. You know, anything you do with a tractor, they're looking at you like a, a wolf looking at sheep. So you'd be better off doing as much as you can on your own um, before you're forced to go ahead and pay somebody. All right, guys, I'm at 10 minutes. And again, if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to holler at the rooster. Godspeed.